Hi, friends of golfers. Eric Schulberg, EJS Golf Academy, and welcome back to the casting series. So this one's going to be a little different. Um, we've talked about drills. Uh, I may talk a little bit about it, but I want to talk to you about something more, okay? So what I've found over the years in teaching, you know, I have tons of different drills I can use for this thing, okay? And I found this to be one of the, um, I would say, hardest, um, I would say, problems to get rid of. Now, remember, I the causes uh, typically are somewhere else of what's going on, okay? Why it happens. But I am a believer, and someone will say no, that if I do this as for years, even if I get my conditions better, it's the first move I'm still going to want to make on the way down because I never trained myself to, you know, sit into this position and everything like we're doing here. So I want to address kind of that and the way motor patterns are. So we need to learn um, – to add this new motor pattern, right? And some of the stuff we're learning is, you know, if we're doing the drills and getting down here, but it's the mental structure that is what people have trouble to change, I believe. The way they think about this, okay? Um, and remember, there's two things. Or if I don't have a good grip, I'm gonna have trouble with this too. And the other thing, if I can't get this club more closed on the way down, I have huge trouble, okay? So if I'm coming down like this, I don't care what I do. You know, you're still going to see this flip down there. You know, you're this here. So we got to learn to close this club face, okay? Mentally, though, how can we think about this different? Or why is this different than other issues that, you know, may have and deal with? Well, to me, it's just fundamental from transmission transition where we have 0.8 of a second in a golf swing, right? And that takes us about that to get up here, 0.2 to get down to a ball, basically. That's very fast. So it's not like we're working on takeaway where, you know, we, we can really influence that. It's the first thing we're doing. We can influence a lot of things in the backswing. We can on the downswing. So to me, that's the other problem. And when we've done this a long time, we've learned to train in this move. And I, what I'll do to with the students, I'll go over and I'll say, stop at the top. I'll put my hand up here and go start the downswing. I feel it's just grind, pulling down as hard as they can. So not – when I feel good players ask me, what do I feel? Nothing because their bodies rotating out of the way. So we have to train that and we have to train our mind. Okay. So doing like the step drill is a great one because we learn to start here. And then when I step forward and go, then I'm learning the separation. Okay. I'm learning to separate my body. So I go here, lower, it's already forward. So I have one part of the body going back and the other going forward, the lower body. And therefore, I'm training this proper move and that's what we need to do is we need to feel this happening. We have to know from the top that this isn't happening. So from the top of the lower body is moving in position. That's why this drill where we go to here and we try to hold our arms is so big where we get into the sitting position. Most people like Cass have a huge trouble with this because they're just like pulling down immediately. This is very hard for them, but they learn it. Okay. So mental shift to get through this of, I just believe casters and you know, after all these years, it's just this huge focus of the ball hitting at the ball instead of having a focus of swinging. Okay. Now we can change. Think about gathering energy is what we're trying to do. It's just like this is, you know, as I show the baseball swing, we would never go like this, but that's, look at this swing. That's exactly what most people look like at impact. They don't look like this. If I go look at the body clear, look where my hands are, this is what baseball, good baseball swing would be like. And if I turn the face, look at where I'm at. Okay. So Think about it differently than releasing all the energy at the ball. Think about a swing where we're feeling more energy late, okay? Past it, okay? And also, I want you to feel like from here, you know, if you had something holding us up here, we're not just pulling down right away, okay? For a little while, let yourself feel like the body is doing a lot of the work, okay? Well, you're just kind of holding this hinge. You're still going to pull down. You're still going to do it, but we need to make it less, okay? So we can get better that way. So I've done a lot of talking on some stuff here. I want to give you guys something that I think is, um, I know it'll help you. Everybody does do, it helps. The focus is this again, does this drill translate to making you better? I've given you some already. It will if our focus is correct, okay? Where does the focus need to be? It better be right here where it's kind of happening, unless there's some other reason like I talked about why it's happening, okay? Uh, Take a regular grip. I call it the claw. We're going to go with this claw grip right here. Put it in here. And we have that. Okay. So when you go up 
and swing. I want you just to swing. You're going to notice that you can't do much with this with this right hand. And folks, that's where the problem is, is the right hand going like this, okay? So you're going to notice you can't, and you're going to end up like this, okay? You can just sit there, and another take off that is this, is just getting this club going like this. You're going to notice when I go like this, and I get down to impact, there's no way if I go like this that I would ever be like this. I don't even know if you can do it. Okay, so just taking the club here. You notice that? Watch my lower body. So it goes. I'm not forcing it to happen. It's just what I would do if I'd want to hit this thing. I go here. That's how I would generate speed with it. So let's do both of those repetitions. You guys know it's 15 minutes a day or break it down to 25 to 50 in the morning, 25 to 50 at night. Work on the mental. Add it in with this so we understand truly what we're doing. Okay. Thank you, folks. Appreciate it. Take care. Air Solar EGS Golf Academy.